XRP breaks a five-year resistance. We're going to look at some TA in this video. Also, where are we right now? $1.42. Gary Gensler has resigned or is going to. He set a date. I got some great XRP updates for you in this video. We're also going to look at a few different TA clips that I pulled for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. Find out where we're going and where we're heading. Awesome. I hope you're feeling good, guys. Every day when you wake up, you get to check the market. XRP is pumping. It is a good day. Let me hear it down in the chat. Gary Gunzer on January 20, 20th, 2025, I will be stepping down. Listen, January 20th is the day that Trump is supposed to get into office. It would be, you know, Gary Gunzer has no path forward. I don't think he has a path forward in the new administration at all, right? He has signed his ticket. You might as well go retire because you have made the entire market, right? You have so much. I've never seen so much hate built up against one person in, in the crypto market. It is, it is insane. And I think Gary Gensler may have cost the election for, for Democrats. I mean, think about it. So many people like you showed up at the ballot box and said no to the attack and the war that's being waged on the crypto market over the last four years, right? Young men basically set the tone of where we are going to go with this new administration. And it does look to be very pro crypto. Look at this five year resistance. You guys blasted through it. Congratulations. I hope we are feeling good. Also, major announcement from Jimmy Valley. The uh, Funch fru uh, fru Fruition, excuse me, release rigged from the start X is actually out right now. You can actually 1 million copies stream for the rest of the world for free on X. Let me show you this really quickly. This is actually pretty insane. Do that crypto startup. The asset in question here is called XRP. Jay Clay drops this lawsuit on his last day in office, like mission accomplished. We became convinced that this whole case was was merely a show. The SEC has become a rogue agency. All right, I don't need to play the whole thing. I, I have played it in previous videos, but this is out now. If you want to go watch it, I'd, I'd please go watch it, right? Uh, Ripple partner Utai Unibanko has officially launched crypto trading services using, it looks like Ripple and XRP here. One of the Ripple partners on February 21st, the Ripple team revealed that Itai, it, it's a bank in Brazil. All right, my bad. Latin America's biggest bank, my market cap. You will use Ripple's blockchain network X current to process the cross border payment remittances. Love to see that. Also, Ripple collaborates officially with four out of the five biggest banks in Latin America. That is a big deal, right? Ripple, when, when Ripple got sued by the SEC, they went out, right, to the rest of the world and said, how could we make an impact in these countries? And some of these countries really stepped up to wanting to use Ripple's technology, right? I remember my, my wife used to send money to Brazil and it used to be extremely costly. Now she can send money to her family in Brazil for a lot cheaper due to cryptocurrencies like XRP. So it's really great to see. Look at some of the biggest banks in Brazil are Ripple partners. Siaxa, we are coming for you. Grayscale, this is what they've been telling institutional client investors. Ripple designed for instant global transfers. Ripple replaces itself as a bridge between different fiat currencies worldwide, aiming to expedite cross-border transactions. Yes, we are coming for the top spot. Gray sales, crypto sectors, the currency sectors, highlights assets like Bitcoin, XRP, and Litecoin. Understand this. If XRP can capture just like 4 or 5% of the total value in the world, you are going to have XRP as the number one crypto asset in the world, right? If you capture a few trillion dollars, right? Think of how much impact that would have on the entire token of XRP, how high we would pump if we just had five, $10 trillion worth of assets sitting on the XRP ledger. That is just a smidge that would, you know, if you're talking about four or 5%, you're talking more of the lines of maybe like eight to 10 trillion, right? That would send XRP probably, you know, 30, 30 to 50 bucks. It depends really on uh, how much of the token is currently circulating. And of course, all that jazz, but man, we would be flying. All right. So Europe completes preparations for a gold standard. The new financial system will be backed by gold and XRP will be a bridge of gold backed currencies. Absolutely correct. If these countries go back to a gold standard and if those currencies are traded on the XRP ledger, some of those currencies, if they are gold backed, you will have gold backed currencies on the XRP ledger. Great point. The Federal Reserve announces XRP as a potential tool for their new payment system fed now. Let me, let me read the bottom line here for you. 
Ripple, a prominent provider of cross-border payments and open source distributed ledger technology for financial transactions, may be included among the fintech companies that FedNow will utilize. We've already proven this on the show here, on, on these chats, that FedNow can utilize XRP through a number of different partners. I do think you are going to see XRP flowing across the new system, the new instant payment system that America has to offer. Leaders in Coindesk indices, XRP and XLM are pumping. It's insane that XRP and XLM go together, right? It's very, very strange. Like the insiders are doing this pump together. So you have TikTok, it says Ripple. Now we have two major prospects. I cannot name it, but hopefully you will be, excuse me, you will read it in the near future, Thomas Pesha, let me go ahead and play this clip from you. Uh, two major prospects. I cannot name it, but hopefully you will read it in the press in the near future. They both, both of them, and I was really surprised. Actually, it's free. They're all going for SaaS operating model. And not only for the non-secure components, but also for the secure components. That means their key management system is software as a service. It's no longer on-prem, it's no longer in their cellar, it's no longer in their IT department. And these are real, positively meant monsters of banks. And I was very positively surprised that there is a shift in the thinking into that direction. We now have... Listen, big banks are going to want to tokenize value. They're also going to want to take crypto, right? You, you're going to have your bank account and your bank is going to say, hey, we now offer crypto custody. Would you like to keep your crypto in the bank? And you will actually have access to spend your crypto through that bank. You'll get a card just like your ATM card. Maybe in fact, you will use your same ATM card to pay for things with crypto. It, it's, it's going to happen, right? Banks are always looking for new ways to make money. Banks have lost billions of dollars over the last few years because most of these banks are invested in big, 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 big office buildings. And since the C word, right? The, the world has really realized that some businesses don't need to be in these really expensive office buildings and have moved things online to keep things a lot cheaper, right? Especially with rates at four or 5%. Can you imagine how much extra these companies have to pay? So these office buildings took a huge decrease in how much their value is worth and banks ate all of that, right? And so they're going to want to create new strategies and new ways to create value for money for the bank and crypto Listen, it's coming. I will be on this channel in two years from now as this thing rolls out and I will say, I told you so, right? We've, I've been talking about this for the last two, two to three years, okay? Uh, all right, so let's take a look at what's next. XRP, what's next? This is from Crypto Wizard. Houston, we have a problem. We're going too high. XRP is a colossal plus 126.81% from the range breakout and now it's breaking above 135, bringing on 184. Man, we could be heading to $2, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we have Charting Guy with XLM seven-year Adam and Eve pattern. Target is three to $5. And he says, investing takes patience. You will end up being a 50X from the bear market lows. This is XRP surprise many cycles, right? Man, it looks like XLM is heading for the top spot as well. And also from blockchain backer, XRP price spot coming in for the big battle. Here you go. Looks like if we break some of these levels, guys, we could be heading to the moon. All right. And uh, man, what? Oh, this is billions. I was like $75. Oh, snap. All right. Uh, please like the video, share the video, come back for more. I promise to keep you updated with all the latest and greatest XRP content. I'll see you around. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Crypto Sensei. Have a good bull market. Peace.